In this lesson, we will learn about node-based compositing. All compositing is based on bringing together different elements or pieces of footage and making them all work together using a variety of techniques. The node-based workflow takes each of the elements and places them as a node in a large open workspace. We can then tie the nodes together or change their properties using other nodes. The physical location of a node does not matter only how those nodes are connected together. Toxic and Fusion are two applications that use this node-based workflow. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say that we need to composite a simple shot together. We have a foreground node and a background node. We can add a merge or blend node to combine our foreground and background. Now at this point the foreground might not match, so we can add a color correct node between the foreground and merge nodes. The foreground node sends its image information into whatever node or nodes it's connected to. Those nodes make the required changes to the image and then feed that data into the next node and so on and so on. Because the program evaluates every node until the end of the node network, we can view the final result while modifying or adding nodes earlier on. This gives us an incredible amount of flexibility and lets us reuse image information from any node in the network. Our example has only a few nodes, but larger projects could have dozens or even hundreds of nodes connected together. If you have a compositing job that might require many complicated connections and relationships between elements, try using a node-based compositing application.